Alright guys, welcome back to some more Mass Effect. We're gonna talk to everybody because I don't even talk, I think I talked to Garrus at all. Uh, Morden's here. Do we want to talk to Morden? No. We want to look at our sweet, sweet upgrades. Sniper rifle damage? About upgrades? Um, I actually can't. Oh, it's a research terminal. Apparently this is split into two. Because, you know, UIs. Alright. Requires one more sniper da rifle damage. You need palladium or whatever the fuck. You get some more damage on my SMGs? Nah. Nah. Many gel capacity. Oh. Omni tool. Squad bonus tech. Okay, that's a good one. Well, really? It just completes instantly? Wow. Alright. Heavy weapon capacity. You can also have uh, some other stuff here. Yeah, well. We'll get more into the resource thing maybe after this sometime. Well, yeah. is there anything else over here? I'm surprised they even locked this down to begin with, honestly. Hey, can I see the other room from here? I sort of can. Oh man. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. The plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work, identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Salarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species of all. Adapt. Mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly, and incorrectly considered, a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Ah, good shit. Alright, well, I guess we'll just, uh... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so... Uh, I need to tell you guys a little bit something. So I have this hand cannon here. So you've noticed here there's absolutely no stats here. So this kind of sounded like it was the weapon with the more damage. It's actually not. This is the weapon with the more damage. Um, yeah. It. Sorry. Go figure. Um, 
don't know why that is. Um, that's how it works. Uh, obviously, the in incisor snare rifle is a piece of shit. So um, yeah, I it doesn't it give me any stats. I mean, it, when you think about the the armor stats, it it has it below the long description. Your private terminal. All right. Take care of Garrus. Uh. Oh, well. Okay. Healing of your facial scars. So yeah, we can do that as well. So there, that now we have the medical equipment for that. What the hell? Wasn't there one more? Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't do something. Armor technicians have a lively debate about the Kestrel armor system. Didn't I already have that before? Oh, there's another med bay upgrade. Uh, I think he's in engineering, or is he in crew? No, no, he's in crew quarters. He's like in the, like the uh, the certain part of the deck. So if we want, we can get rid of these stupid facial scars now. Uh, how much money does it cost? Okay, well we'll never know because I have to actually upgrade it. I think. I think uh, Chuck Ross is there, it's fine. We don't want to talk to Chuck Ross. Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Goldstein. Ferris Fields. Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Crewman Goldstein. Ah. Hmm. Alright, main battery. I hate Garrus. We haven't talked yet. Shepard. Need me for something? What the fuck is this texture? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, hey. Wait, what? These are not the Normandy's weapon systems. Oh, well, I mean, they are here, but... That'd be upgrade. So there's the scarring. For the scarring will not occur regardless of the actions you take. Well, probably remove that at some point, because it does get really distracting. Maybe, maybe at the peak. We'll see. So, Turian decide... Uh, Turian cannon of some sort. And then there's a bunch of weapons here, like just launchers and whatever. And the rest of this is just whatever, I guess. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. 
mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty good. I could I, I get your food. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything if you need. If you happen to find uh, any of the yeah. back to work. Oh, uh, it was the engineers that got their stuff for. Uh, it's fine. Uh, let's go back to Omega. Maybe, maybe we'll do. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of planet scanning. Oh wait, it's not the place where we scan planets. All right. Let's have a look. So. This is where it kind of is here. Um, I guess we're technically done. Although I don't think I really explored everything there, to be honest. So here we go. Oh, we didn't explore this? Oh, let's have a look at this. All right, start scanner. All right, we click once or something. Away. I think this is all we do. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. And that's depleted. So it, did, it literally does every, every one, one of it. I think I remember how this works now. So. I'll tell you how the game used to be, um, and, then, and then you'll learn uh, why why we took it. All right, so the whole point of this mini game was that you were you hold right click and you're like scanning, and it shows you like on you see on the side there it says like modern, and then like oh okay, there's some resources here. You click, and then it gives you a, a, a fraction of resources. Um, sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. It gives you a fraction of resources, and then yeah, and then you'd buy more probes, and then like some other stuff you basically would have to like spend a crap ton of money on probes and shit like that so that's not cool um so what's with the fuel depot how much fuel do i have oh i guess i need fuel thing is i've been running around on sublight engines this whole time and it doesn't matter i guess it's fuel to leave sorry i just don't remember but i guess we'll figure it out soon see like this planet's rich and we launch one probe and then oh boy we get a crap ton of money now here's the thing, this shit's full now, so what does that mean? I don't even know. So we can go and uh, go hop into here and do some more of the research, I guess. So I basically just did this in probably a fraction of the time it would have taken normally. Uh, but now we get a bunch more damage things, like submachine gun damage, sure, why not? Because it's just, it's kind of just boring, like that's how it goes. Alright, we'll get the cannon, uh, prototypes. Missile launcher? Uh, yeah, I guess we can try that out. Why not? So what's the deal with this? I guess it requires... I, I Okay, do I not have enough iridium for this? This doesn't make any sense. Med bay upgrade. Well, we don't have enough pl plutonium or whatever. I mean, we could, we could rush that pretty pretty fast too. Also, why does it, like, exit the menu every time? I guess we'll get this upgrade, too. Alright, I guess that's it. 
I guess we need to. I don't think we talked to Morden about the Shepard, upgrades. How can I help? Yeah. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Yeah, there you go. I, I, oh, Morden Omni Tool. Morden gets 20% tech power damage. That's element zero, though. We don't have a lot of that. So I don't think we're going to get that one. So yeah, he gave us, because we talked to him about it, we actually, he gave it to us. seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. All right. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Let's see if, um, because when I talked to Morden, he gave me upgrades. So I wonder if Jacob will give me something, maybe. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Oh, uh, okay, so... Everybody gives us some ship enhancements, so this is the Normandy armor. There you go. Commander. Can you talk to this guy about anything? Something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? My ship, my time. I just want to talk. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. I selected the text again. I'm not even doing it on purpose. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy and they still dumped you. I don't like it, but I can see benefit in keeping some things from the public. Maybe. And Cerberus isn't exactly transparent either. Where's an honest soldier go, Shepard? Right here? I guess so. Glad I'm not in your chair, though. Gonna be a rough ride. I should get back to work. Good talking to you, Shepard. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go and actually do something, because I've spent, like, almost 20 minutes now on the ship scanning planets and fucking around, so... Uh, I don't know. Should we go back to Citadel now? Omega 4 relay. Probably don't want to go there. Oh, explore the Normandy crash site? Actually, that sounds kind of fun. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is where the fuel gets used. Okay, I remember that. Alright. I have detected an anomaly. Well. This is what we do. Mission. Uh, we found the wreckage. Alright, let's land there.
I'm gonna probably Picard the shit up. He's gonna come over there and get like my the fucking like little plaque that says the ship was made. Actually, we're just gonna look for Na Navigator Presley's corpse, let's be honest. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, boy. But I'm, I'm alone, huh? Alright, dog tag. Uh. I, it's just a, like, little quest to pick up dog tags. It's a fetch quest. There's 20. I have a feeling there's 20 guys. Don't ask me. Wait, plus F to place monument? What? And pay respects? Yeah. Alright. Oh no, Presley, where are you? Probably his dog tag right here. He stayed right beside the airlock. I mean, Joker's still alive. I don't know why we're having flashbacks about him. I mean, nothing happened to him. He's still our nice little cripple boy. And I like, like, seriously, why did we place a monument? I need to know this. It bothers me. On an ex- Okay, oh, dude, fragile credit. Oh, let's, let's use a better weapon for this. Uh, of course, I knew that. I, mean, I knew that's where they would keep it. All right, Elvin Zero. We need some more of that because we need some tech research. I mean, I, I get this is supposed to be like a kind of memorial for something that literally happened this game. So you know. Apparently, they keep putting their dog tags inside of crates. Can't say I really approve of that. Oh, this is how we deal with... Oh, okay, no. Alright. I mean, it's a good place to test out weapons, I guess, actually. It didn't even let me change my weapons, though, before I came down here, though. Oh, my God. N7 helmet? Alright. I guess we'll look at that as well. Oh no, the Mako! Oh no, yeah, they, they actually, that was one of the, I think the big things that they did in this game, is they removed, uh, oh. It's, uh, the, the planet map or whatever. They, they removed the Mako portions of the game, which, I, I mean, I, I think I, uh, I, if I remember my Mass Effect 1 opinion of it, it was fine, except for the fact it got extremely repetitive. Alright, well we got my N7 helmet. Wait, wait, so my helmet came off in space? Uh, uh yeah, that's, that's awkward. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Alright, data pad. Entry 1. Uh, support to Commander Shepard about this. All those damn aliens on this, on this ship, I don't trust them. What does Shepard think is a zoo? Oh yeah, that's, that's definitely Navigator Presley. Uh, okay, he doesn't mind, uh, thing that bad. Yeah, oh, oh, good, he turned, he turned into a, a liberal, um, uh, during this time. Uh, so it's all good. Hard to say I would die for any member of the, of the crew. Oh, no, Navigator Presley. He became reformed. <laughs> oh, man. I thought we'd find his corpse, though. Actually, I'm now disappointed. How many more do we have? 9 of 20. That's a lot left. There's a thing over here. Because I'm pretty sure I was over here, but eh. I guess not. So what, no one came down here? Oh man, the Mako. All oh, the times. Oh good, we have a flashback of that too. 
Yes, it was in our cargo hold, you're correct. Remember, just like yesterday. So, so why didn't they, so they want to put the, the ship to exact specifications, but they decided not to put the Mako back in the, in the, in the Normandy. I don't think he got it right. Uh, there's a little crate up here. Alright, we got 11 now. Alright. Fuck. Wanted to get off this thing. You know, there seems to be a lot of, um... Uh, space left over. Oh, there's the shuttle. Oh, no, that's no, no, my shuttle. Never mind. It's my shuttle. You know, I, I'll be honest, I didn't quite think that we'd... I, I completely forgot this part even existed. And I was probably just as sarcastic during it, during my first run. Oh, we are allowed down here. I mean, I'm literally just doing a fetch quest. Oh, the ship. Actually, an interesting question of why aren't there more corpses? Yeah, I'm not going back yet. We're not done here. We have more dog tags to go fetch. I uh, see there's a crate right there. Almost slipped past us. Can't wait until we get a better SMG, but we probably won't find really a good one. Oh, I already got that. Hey, right, a lot of people died in crates, apparently. I, I thought I thought only like a couple of people died, not like 20. Like, I think they said Presley and saw the lower crewmen. But there wasn't that many people on that ship to begin with. Oh, uh, well, I mean, he died on Vermeer, so that doesn't count. He didn't die. He didn't die in the, in the ship crash. So I, I call I call bullshit. Oh man, I remember Caden just like yesterday. Uh, he was he was around with his very deep and storyline I didn't care about. Of course, the coffins. Alright, we got one left, guys. Fuck. One left. You guys get 12 guesses on... It has to be at the end of this thing. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's sparkling right there. Alright, we did it. We remember the Normandy. And we pressed F to put down a... Put down a, a memorial thing. To pay respects to the Normandy. Alright, well. Uh, I, I guess I'm kind of sad. But now, now I realize I, I don't have actual emotions. This is why I talk some monotone all the time. So, 20 people died. Or 20 people had their dog tags on the ship. Either one. Left and bind. As I said, it didn't sound like 20 people died, but whatever. Poor old Navigator Presley. Didn't make it to Mass Effect 2. I like how he had like, he had like one line in, the, in the, this entire game, I just realized. What? This is a mission? I got my helmet. Alright, well. Guess there's not much else to do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fucking scan the rest of this system and then we'll probably just head back. So, yeah. Uh, peace.